Porophilia Talks and today we are making this little daisy square here. I really really love it um, and as you can see I've made quite a few. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with it just yet but I just keep making them just in case. <laughs> okay so I am using sort of you know the daisy colors so for the middle I am using citron this is all a Starcraft Special Decay. I am using white for the petals and I am using Lincoln for the green around. So I have done this before, I think, but I did it with different colors and I just wanted to have the sort of the flower, the proper flower effect. <laughs> um, and I have a three and a half here. I always use a three and a half. You might need to use a four or whatever you normally use for this yarn so we are going to get started with the citron and we are going to do a magic circle um, why a magic circle sometimes they are interchangeable so you can use a magic circle or a chain four but this time I want to use a, a magic circle so it's not too bulky in the middle if you use a chain four this is going to be a lot bulkier so let's see if we can get started so with the end of our yarn here across over our fingers like so we're going to go under this bit of yarn here pull up this bit here turn your fingers and pull up and go back to that back strand and do a chain now we are ready to get started so we are going to be working over the two strands here so chain up another one i i tend to chain up just the two for my double crochet so if you chain up three do go ahead but if it's too loose then i would recommend you chain up two this is going to be um, a double cro going to count as a double crochet when we have put the slip stitch on top so let's just disregard that for now and we are going to do 11 double crochets so not counting the chain oops so that's three four five double crochet is yarn over into the circle Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And making sure you keep working over those two strands. I think, oh yeah, no, it's working. Sometimes you need to just pull it slightly because you might go past the end of that little tail there, but it was still okay. So let me just count two, four, six, eight, ten, and I have here my eleventh one. So I have done one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven double crochets. We've got that chain hanging there, and that's perfect. So we are going to pull the circle closed. And yes, I am counting again two, four, six, eight. 10 11 under the 11th you're going to go under there and you are going to do a slip stitch this will then create your 12th v all right so i now have 12 v6 yeah going around the edge of my work so there's no skipping any stitches we are now going to cut off the yarn and you just pull it through like that now if you really want to work really really neatly then I suggest you sew in the end in an invisible stitch right so we've got this hanging out here you've got this stitch here we are going to recreate that using this piece of yarn so you go into there just past that and you follow that stitch so you go back into the previous one here there we go see so we've sort of created a fake stitch for this here 
but and we've still got our previous and our next stitch then you pull it slightly and that makes it the same size look and now you can't even tell anymore which stitch it was and I then sort of go and it, it ends at the back so you you bring it to the back and you do a couple of sew-ins like this and that is going to secure and now I really should do this middle one as well I might as well I'm doing it now <laughs> so once again yeah make sure you tug your middle really tight so that hole closes up should it come undone again but it should be okay there we go right so two three times looping back that is generally what I do and this way you now have a really nice neat circle coin <laughs> middle flower middle to get going again okay so that was our yellow or our citron I now have a little bit of leftover right the thing is you see you could easily do this with just a, a couple of leftovers you can easily make a few daisies <laughs> with that now I have done a slip stitch sorry I did that off camera too quick so you wrap it around your fingers and like so okay I like to start with a standing stitch because that avoids a little bit of bulk and having to pull it through and secure it and all that so never mind so we're just going to go and act as if we were already crocheting so I'm just yarning over go under any V pull up a loop yarn over pull through two okay this is where we're going to end this stitch you yarn over ready for the next stitch in the same stitch here and again we do the same thing so you yarn over into the same stitch again pull up a loop yarn over pull through two so now we have four loops on our hook these are three double crochets that we haven't finished but that we are going to finish together so that means you yarn over and you pull through all the four loops on your hook. The first one is a little bit awkward because obviously it's not a proper stitch. There you go. So you pull it slightly and we now have three double crochets together. Chain one. Same thing in the next stitch. So under the next V we are going to do those three half finished double crochets. Three, four loops on your hook, sorry yarn over and you pull through all of them and you do a chain again same thing so you're going to do this 12 times now let me tell you it's important that there are 12 so if you have too many V's in your medallion underneath here you know the yellow coin that we've just made then you're going to be in trouble later on right so you need to make sure you have 12 V's going round the, the little middle of your flower before you start doing this and the way I do it is by using that slip stitch for that last stitch so I'm not creating an extra stitch as some people do I am using the slip stitch as my last stitch so one two three four five I've done five I need to do another <laughs> seven <laughs> because I need 12 petals so I will see you at the end of my round when you have done your 12 petals as well I have done my last chain here and I am now going to find that first standing stitch which to be honest is sort of like a stitch here a, a knot here so I'm going to go under this one here so just the next fee that you can manage to get under there we go okay and yes indeed I have 12 petals and it's lying flat I have done the three double crochets together and then each time I chain one and that makes sure that you have the required amount of stitches for that second round and it will um, you know stay flat now here it's not so important that we sew in our ends we can do them afterwards because we are not using our V's 
this time we are going to use the in between the petals so we are now ready for our Lincoln and we are going to do a slip knot insert our hook and we are ready to get started now you might think that this is a circle now okay yes it is a circle um, and that the petals are not that well sort of defined yet but that will come once we've done our green in there so that should sort itself out but also yes we have a circle and we want it to be square so we are going to have to play around a bit with the stitches so let's just get started in one of the chain one spaces so we are this time we are working in between the petals and i always like to start where we finished just just back from there so we are going to yarn over insert <laughs> insert <clears throat> okay doesn't want to obviously yarn over insert pull up a loop yes <laughs> and we are going to pull through two and pull through two okay so that's our first double crochet done now we are going to make a corner here the corner is made up of three double crochets two chains and three double crochets. Can you hear the squeaking? <laughs> okay, so this is our corner. So the corners are going to be a little bit taller than the sides. So now we are going to make two side clusters, but we are going to do half double crochet. So we yarn over, we insert, Pull up a loop, yarn over, and we pull through all the three loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through two, and three. There we go. Yarn over, pull up a loop, and pull through all three. Okay. Once again, in the next cluster, we are going to do the same thing. So three half double crochet. See, it gets better. You can pull through all three in one go. And then we are ready for a corner again and the corners are double crochets so three double crochets two chains and three double crochets there we go no that's two <laughs> and that's the third here <laughs> oh dear it's going well okay so as you can see, we've got a corner and then the side goes nice and straight and then we have a corner here. OK, and this is what you are going to repeat. So the two side clusters are made up of three half double crochets each. Yeah. There we go. And the corners are made up of double crochets, three double crochets, two chains, and you turn and you do another three double crochets. There we go. Okay, so this is how you continue to turn your round flower into a square and I don't know whether you noticed but I've taken along my ends so they have now disappeared as well okay so all I have to do is cut off this bit here and here I am once again ready oh no 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 for my double crochets okay so double crochet in the corner here there we go two chains and three double crochets and yeah indeed i can see that i still have to do two clusters here which works out of course because i've done 12 petals and i have my particular repeat so it would be just right so uh, once again if you don't have 12 petals if you went wrong somewhere um, 
this is where you will, will be in trouble again. <laughs> okay, um, so yes, it's important here to make sure you have the 12 Vs, then your 12 petals, and now uh, your square is nice and square and it works out. So now we are going to do a slip stitch. So here we have that standing stitch knot almost. Um, I can't get in there. I'm going to go into the first V there, which is perfect because that is a good location for my slip stitch. I'm going to do two more slip stitches, which will bring me to my corner space. And there I am now going to continue with doing a round of granny clusters. So I have now done my two chains. I am going to do another two double crochets in there, two chains and two double crochet, uh, three double crochets, sorry. It was too easy to say the number two again. Okay, so this is my first corner. Now this round, we are already square. So it is perfectly all right to just do double crochet clusters. Well, actually, you have to do double crochet clusters because if you didn't, you would have, you know, your sides wouldn't be straight anymore. You'd have not a square, but you'd have a different shape. I don't know what it would be. <laughs> okay, so this time we are just doing as we normally do for a granny cluster, square granny clusters. And we do the corners, three cluster, uh, three double crochets, two cha chains and three double crochets. So there you go. Okay, so our square is becoming a nice square. Um, it is difficult to line up this square with just a plain granny square because you have different sizing here okay so if you would were to make a normal granny square and lay that next to it it would be bigger than this one so if you are making a blanket in this i would recommend that you did all daisies for the blanket uh, or if you did want to um, do uniform, oh dear, I've got a bit of a problem. Yeah, okay, <laughs> it's coming out quite good, but I didn't want all that, but never mind. <laughs> Take your own advice and stay calm when you have some uh, yarn vomit. <laughs> um, yeah, so like I was saying, if you were to put a normal granny square next to this, it would not be the same dimension. So either your blanket would have to be all like this with your daisy in the middle or you would have to do a daisy in the middle in just the uni color um, to make sure that you have exactly the same size square and I just keep going and this is how I crochet <laughs> And we're there. So skip the two chains, go under this V here, and by doing that, your slip stitch will take over the top of the chains. There you go, and that will become the top of it. So this is the size of square that I have been making, and yeah, I'm going to have to put it together 
at some point with some sort of um you know purpose in mind so i do hope you enjoyed this video thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one bye